Oh, he's running. Oh, he's running. Dispatch, be advised, he's pulling a deputy. Oh, we're going southbound Pirate Avenue. Now we're turning left. Hello and welcome back. This is Mike with the Benzo Effect channel. I hope you guys are doing great today. We are using the LSPD Fire style police mod and we are going to be out here in Blaine County and it is raining a lot crazy out here. Uh, we haven't done a rain episode in a long time so I thought we'd throw one of these up since the uh, weather is starting to change in November. And then also something new I'm going to be doing in the YouTube uh, channel is I hope you guys like this is I'm going to pick a random YouTube comment and whoever that random commenter is down below i'm gonna make them my deputy so this right here is uh deputy amid aval so amid aval this is gonna be you right there today uh, amid has been uh, commenting for a long time in the youtube channel i really do appreciate his comments so deputy aval is gonna be our partner for today uh, we are using a police pack by maurice 97 and that's uh, a pretty awesome pack it's a pretty old one but it looks really nice still I really like it. I love the blues. And this is going to be an FBI right there. we got a charger. And of course, that's my ambulance over there. And we're going to go ahead and get started with today's patrol. If you do like this style of content, be sure to hit the like button, guys, if you like LSPD Far in general. And then uh, if you're you know, if you're brand new, make sure you sub. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with Dispatch. You are also listening to live police radio. That is through Broadcastify.com. It is a web browser. Uh, it's not a plug-in or anything like that. But you can do that yourself. It's free. You could pay a uh, little service if you want to for uh, no ads and things like that. I actually do pay for that. It's like $15 for six months, something like that. But we're going to go ahead and get started with dispatch. Uh, the, the police agency you're listening to is Indianapolis Police Department is what it is. And they say pretty busy. Sam, what do you want? Dispatch, show me 1041 tonight. All right, let's go. Okay, officer needs a backup assistant. Dispatch, re responding code 2. Okay, we're gonna be going code two uh, down here. We got a uh, traffic unit. It's got somebody pulled over, so we're gonna go over there and assist him. And since there's so much traffic, uh, let's kind of cut through. Oh, what the? What just happened? Dispatch requesting fire. It's gonna be at Ron's gas station, US Route One. That scared the living hell out of me. I don't know what happened. Is anybody in there? Okay, that fire's out. Wow. We're supposed to be going to another call. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. Oh yeah, somebody's in there. Dispatch be advised, uh, we got one uh, victim. It's going to be in the oh, north side of the gas pumps, Ron's gas station, 1930. Requesting EMS at uh, Ron's gas station. Uh, you shot one. I don't want to move her. I'm pretty sure she's she's gonna be DOA. Here comes the ambulance. Oh, there's a fire truck. Hey, the uh, tanks just exploded out here. I wish they uh, still looked burned when they got out of there. That's the limitations of the game, unfortunately. The fire truck, I guess, is just going to drive off. Uh, they don't see anything on fire, so. I'm 
Nah, I figured she would be DOA. She's got like fourth degree burns. All the way to the bone. Dispatch requesting a CSI. Yes, route one. It's gonna be at the Ron's gas station from the explosion. Got one victim. Well, it does say struck by explosion. That's exactly what happened. All right, let's see if we can uh, flag down the CSI, you know, the corner vehicle. Oh, they're there. Hey, partner, get out of the way, man. It's like, it's like right in the way, aren't you? I guess he wants to be part of the photos. Okay, they're going to take her uh, into the body bag. How much we can really do here. Dispatch requesting 51. It's going to be for a burned out vehicle, 1930. Yes, sir. Uh, flatbed on that. And this one did not have anybody in there. Dispatch requesting a 51. It's going to be for another burned out vehicle. A 1930 Come on, partner. Uh, let's see if uh, that particular officer is still down there. I don't think we could afford the call. Now, normally I would not have done that because the officer's waiting on me, you know? Come in. Come on in, Amid. <laughs> so it's Deputy Aval with us today. Amid Aval. Okay, so I think there's a traffic stop down here. We're going to assist. This other uh, deputy with. He's got someone right here to the left. Okay, we're going to try to park behind the charger over there. I wish he had his lights on. It looked more legit. But it's going to be a black vehicle. Occupied one time. A WMA white male adult. Go ahead, 301. Okay, so let's flip on our, at least, you know, traffic indicators, get people to move over. We'll be at the Capitol. They're still going to park behind me and honk at me and stuff like that. Dispatch, show me 23, Pyrite Avenue, Palada Boulevard. Hey. What you got? So How do you want to handle this? Uh, there was a bolo out for this vehicle uh, for our uh, fleeing BCSO a deputy a few days ago. If you uh, if you could just monitor the situation from the cruiser, that would be great. That way, if they run uh, for it, you can pursue. Okay. All right, we'll do. We'll keep. I'll keep an eye on. All right, he wants us to get back in the cruiser. That's kind of a cool call. So just in case he decides to run, so this is what he's saying to him over there across. You can see at the bottom of the screen, it says he has a warrant for his arrest, so you definitely have done something wrong. Step out of the vehicle, because those cowboy cops in Blaine County couldn't catch me, and neither can you. Oh, he's running. Oh, he's running. Dispatch, be advised, he's pulling a deputy. Oh, we're going south. Uh, bound Pirate Avenue. Now we're turning left and we're going to be on US Route 1. What the fuck, man? Son of a bitch. Get out of there, man. Get out of there. What the hell is that car made out of? I hit that thing like a, like a brick wall. Dispatch be advised. We got suspect at gunpoint. Don't move. All right, we got him. Oh, man. Hey, come with me, okay? Back out of the rain. Just kidding. We're still going to be in the rain. Let's get him back over here. 
Uh, the deputy, I tell you, he's a beast. He's just walking off like nothing happened. Okay, anything illegal on you? He goes, nope. Okay. Nothing's gonna poke me, stick me, harm me anyway, right? Alright, well, he wasn't lying. Daniel Jansen. Now, I'm curious if he really does have a, uh, a warrant for his arrest. It may not match, but... Sometimes the databases do not match. Alright, I want you to step on in. Sometimes they don't like getting in the vehicle. Hopefully he'll get in. Okay, he got in that time. Good. Alright, so listen up, okay? You're currently being placed under arrest, okay, for felony flee. And then also uh, injury, injury to one of the deputies. All right, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. The right to an attorney. If you cannot afford that attorney, will be appointed to you free of charge by the state of San Andreas. You have the right to have your lawyer present anytime during questioning. Okay, do you understand your rights? All right, so let me check his car. I'm just curious if there's anything in that car. A briefcase full of cocaine. Nice. And a wrapped brick containing brown powder. I uh, tell you what, let's get this out of here. We're gonna book, book it on a flatbed. Dispatch requesting 51. It's gonna be for a black uh, four door. Uh, U.S. Route one involved in that uh, incident for the felony fling. All right, we'll confiscate the uh, cocaine. And we'll get it in the back. And we're going to head over to the station. I want to check that uh, brown powder. That's a brick. All right, we do have a uh, tow truck coming for this particular vehicle here. We're just going to stay just like this. He at the front end of my... Well, he actually stopped in the middle of the freaking U.S. Route 1. I hit that thing like it was a brick wall. You know what I mean? Okay, we're going to pull right here and take him down ourselves. Unfortunately, I was unable to check that uh, brick that had uh, that tan powder. That's not quite it is. Wow. Amazing. All right, get back over here. So for some reason, uh, I guess the car left and I didn't grab the evidence or something. I don't know why I did that. Usually it doesn't bug out like that. All right, stay in here, okay? And you're one of the unlucky ones. There's no toilet paper. I'm sorry. Next time, don't run from the police, okay? All right, let's check him out here in the, ta in the database. Uh, this is Daniel Jansen. Unfortunately, it didn't really match, you know, that, uh, I guess the vehicle was bellowed. That's what it was. The vehicle was bellowed, but the, I think the deputy was saying he had an arrest warrant or something, but it didn't check out here. So we're going to create a rush report real fast. Okay, we're going to do felony traffic, and for this one here, we're going to say fleeing or attempting uh, to lewd LEO with bodily injury. I know it says death, but in this case it does say bodily injury. So we're going to charge him with that. And then also he had some type of bolo, and I don't, I don't really see that in the database, unfortunately. So that's really the only thing that I can see there. Uh, we could say hit and run leaving the scene of, an, of a pedestrian. Technically it was a deputy. Um, or we could say vehicle, vehicular assault too, right? I don't know if that's accurate or not. I'm not a cop in real life, so I do not know. Maybe you guys can fill me in on that. And maybe, how about, uh, yeah, we already got the hit and run, leaving the scene. Uh, we, we could do this one right here. I think this would be more appropriate. I'm sure you guys would agree. This one right here, leaving the scene of an accident with bodily, you know, bodily injury. So we got this one, vehicular assault, this one, and then this one. 
So um, the cocaine also that we got, uh, we're going to say possession of cocaine, and then we're also going to say, because it was a briefcase full, a possession with intent to distribute Schedule 2 narcotic. We'll submit these charges, and like I said, I wish I had that brick containing uh, tan powder, but it wouldn't let me test it. Oh, I'm sorry. Got to go to court cases. My bad. Right here. Reveal outcome. Okay, so we have all these. Already read them off to you. Reveal outcomes. Uh, eight years. Okay. I think it should have been more, to be honest. A vehicular assault. He got not guilty for that. Are you kidding me? Come on. And then these other ones he got one year. And the five years, I think, was possession with intent to distribute Schedule 2 narcotic. And then fleeing or attempting to elude LEO with bodily injury. He got one year on that. Okay, interesting. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. Thank you for watching, and thank you to the members and the patrons of the Benzo Effect channel. You guys are awesome. I could not do this channel without you. And if you're brand new to the channel, think about subscribing. I would appreciate that. And we'll see you on the next episode. Stay safe.